students a very good morning to all of you welcome to the class once again students as you know till now we have finished one dramatic monologue by robert browning and today i am going to introduce you very briefly with the second dramatic monologue that is there in our syllabus entitled a grammarian's funeral by robert browning this dramatic monologue was published in the year 1855 in a book entitled men and women this book was published in two volumes this dramatic monologue appeared in the first volume in this dramatic monologue as i have already shared the text with you the dramatic monologue begins by a group of students going to bury their diseased teacher on a mountain they are carrying the body of their diseased teacher from plains to the hill top to bury him over there when we go through the poem we come to know that the speaker is the leader of that group of students who are taking his corpse for the burial over the hill this student who is the leader of that group he is delineating the qualities of their teacher this teacher he was a great grammarian a person of knowledge a person of great higher values he tried to inculcate these values in the lives of his of his students he devoted his whole life to acquire more and more knowledge that was there in books he spent hours and hours in his study room he kept himself aloof from other worldly activities he estranged himself from the world outside his study room the whole motive of his life was to acquire more and more knowledge and leave a rich legacy behind him so that others could imbibe fruitful knowledge from his experiences students the leader who is the speaker in the dramatic monologue he says that they are taking his body for burial to a mountain place because their teacher he also lived a life full of grandeur grandeur in this sense that he devoted his all the energies his time his faculties in the pursuit of knowledge so such such a teacher he deserves this tribute from them that instead of burying him on a plain ground let they take his body at the top of hill and bury him there students in our next class we will begin the textual analysis of this great poem by robert browning which has got so many themes one of the major theme that 
robert browning has tried to show through his great dramatic monologue is his reverence for learning his passion for learning next thing next thing that could be interpreted while going through this poem is respect and honor for the teacher many others many other meanings and themes we will try to interpret while going through this excellent dramatic monologue by robert browning in our next class we will begin the textual analysis of this great dramatic monologue by browning till then thank you very much